Peace, folk. My name is Erica Badu, also known as Badula Oblangata, also known as She Ill. This is my life and looks. This is my album cover for Baduism. I shot with Mark Baptiste, who shot most of my covers. The label chose this one with, without my face showing. I love this look. Camouflage, the soldier in me. All of these are my pieces. All of these things are my jewelry. It's a look I put together and we just shot it. Real minimal. Sesame Street Friendship. It was such a pleasure doing that show. It was one of the highlights of my career. In this picture, I'm wearing a patchwork head wrap, which I became very synonymous for. Patchwork is really important to me in fashion because it's not so much about the patches themselves, it's more about the threads in between that weave them together. I feel like those are the moments in my life that are important. You can't see it in this photo, but they also wore head wraps. I have to take these out, cause. <laughs> this picture is from the Blues Brothers 2000. My character's name was Queen Mousset. She was a voodoo queen. She was very, very old, hundreds of years old. This gown is pretty much an African cloth, red, black, and yellow, which also happened to be the colors of my tribe in Cameroon, Bamileke, and the designer of the movie incorporated it into the Victorian gown without me even saying anything about it. It just kind of happens that way. I call that grace in fashion, when things just kind of come together. I was nine months pregnant right there, and you can't even tell, you know? I have this like full plate going down the front, which underneath, which makes it look like it's a, a flat surface. And they didn't find out I was pregnant until I showed up. Like, wait a minute, you're nine months pregnant. I'm like, I know, I know. And uh, they had to quickly create this prosthetic piece in front of me to help me keep the job. And the ladies in the costume department kept my secret. This is beautiful. This dress is by a New York designer named Epperson. Epperson is very famous for his deconstructed look. It needed to be neat and the form needed to be beautiful, but it needed to have some edge to it because I like to keep it grimy. This jewelry, the famous Ankh that I'm wearing on my right hand was made by Baba Sanur Samaj here in New York. When I see a rack of, of things, I get an idea of what I can do to contribute, what pieces in my bag I've brought with me. I didn't wear name brand designers during this time period from 90s to mid 2000s. I only wore black designers from New York or Dallas or uh, Atlanta, I wanted to make sure that I use my platform to be an advocate for young designers. And Epperson's piece made the cut. Oh! This is around 2002 to 2003, and in my right hand, I am holding the Grammy Award for Best Video for Love of My Life. One of my best friends, Sonia, drew this henna on my arms. I was chiseled up. I was ready to knock somebody out. Look at that. My understanding for being a black woman in America was very strong at the same time. That's what I wanted to display that night. And to me, the star of the outfit was these deconstructed white pieces made by my friend Epperson. So I just kind of used it how I wanted, just wrapped it around one leg, and that was my gown for the night. And I'm rocking this dead press shirt. It's a political statement. And I probably took this off, this white stuff, and went right to the studio afterwards with dead press. Hey! I went to the Met Ball with the amazing Ricardo Ticci, who was the creative director for Givenchy. And I was also the face for Givenchy for 2014, 2015. This was my first time at the Met. My favorite memory of that night was the men's bathroom. The women's was kind of full with a line, so I went in the men's. But they, all the women were in there too. Everybody was in there having a good time. Should I be saying this? Oh! Now this was my first meeting with Tom Brown when I hosted the Soul Train Music Awards. That was the first time I hosted a, an award show. My friend Diamond Mahone, who's a stylist, pulled this look. This white thing I have underneath my 
hat. I got it from Home Depot. It's like one of those things the painters wear oh, under the mask. And so I thought it would be cool because I didn't need any hair with this. And this is one of my favorite silhouette hats. This one I spray painted white for this event. And on top of my head, this is a sculpture by one of my favorite artists, WXYZ. And this symbol is called a Merkaba. And if you look really closely at my hand, there's this really cool sculpted ring that was custom sculpted by Angel Stora, another very young designer from Italy. By this time, I had started incorporating larger houses and designers into um, my looks. Oh. This look is really giving good cleavage, real good post 50 year old cleavage. The makeup was fantastic. Melanie's Hunter. I was so honored that year because I went with Marnie Francesco Russo. And he put so much thought into this. He knew that that I liked wearing things that make noise and music. Yasmina Amira sat with me that whole day beating these braids. And as we were getting out of the car, all of the braids just tangled up together. And we were standing on the side of the car trying to untangle all of these. I remember looking over, looking at Francesco, waiting for me at red carpet going, you know, you know, we gotta go. Oh, this being my first Vogue World runway, my first runway ever, period. I always thought I was too short to do runway, so I didn't even think about it. You see the chains and bells, and around my neck, I'm wearing my own talismans and amulets. It's my hat and scarf. We just kind of threw this whole thing together. It's actually two young designers. I'd never walked on a runway or walked on cobblestone with platforms. I think I did pretty good for my first time. Oh! Now this was pretty fantastic, if I must say so myself. I'm wearing Baudu World Market Accessories. These shoes, which I call anemones, were made by my best designer. Her name is Maya Haspany. She's a student. She's only 19 years old. She went to my high school, Booker T. Washington, for the performing and visual art. These are leg warmers, the anemones, and they're also shoes. They're also armbands. So since Rick Owens does not dress people for his shows, I went to the showroom and bought these things off the floor. The hooded robe and pants set. Put one of my best brims on. I call it Badu Drip. Oh! Wow, 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 wow. This was the last shot of the day, actually. The golden hour shot. I just did a collab with Marnie and this is one of the feature pieces. I was blown away. I was blown away. I felt like I was seen, I felt like I was recognized for how passionate and serious my love for fashion and art is. That's me, it's Erica from South Dallas on the cover of Vogue. I'm a black woman and I'm a woman and I'm a human and I'm a spiritual being and I'm a mother and a doula and I see all of that and that profile. Um, what a wonderful profile. Thank you, folks. What a day. What a life. This was my life in looks, and I'm very grateful. And at this time, I'm going to sign my Jane Hancock. <laughs>